I've never cared all that much for building settlements in Fallout 4, but since installing the Wasteland Workshop DLC, I've at least enjoyed turning them into the world's worst zoos. It includes some fun ways to mess with the creatures and residents of the Commonwealth, though not much more than that. It's a bit disappointing that there are no stories or missions built around these new settlement options, but the new tools in the toolbox do make Fallout 4 a more creative game. It's amusing to capture raiders and death claws, imprison them in your settlements, and then force them through gauntlets of elaborate traps. Plus, the aesthetic effect of a pack of death claws wandering serenely through the early morning fog of Sanctuary is pretty cool, but the charm quickly wears off. Considering it doesn't really make you more powerful, some of it's just a hassle to use. Monster cages are the most interactive new element, but the process of creating and using them is unnecessarily cumbersome. They're expensive to build, so expect to spend a lot of time foraging or just break down and cheat. And once you do build them, you have to wait until a monster appears in them. And if you didn't invest heavily in the charisma attribute, you'll miss out on the essential creature subduing device. I suspect Wasteland Workshop's designers intended for me to conduct capture operations between my other adventures, but I would have appreciated a better way to accelerate my trapping than manually sleeping at a bed for several nights before a new beastie showed up. Once you've caught these hostages, actually enjoying them is largely a matter of making your own fun with the tools provided. I was briefly amused sending capture beasts through gauntlets of automated defenses, but there's no challenge in it. Likewise, there's no real reason to use the new arena markers that let you pair teams of settlers, companions, and pets in stage battles. If you messed with console commands at all, you've already seen all these fights, and it's not like it keeps track of Preston Garvey's win-loss record. There's no way to really control them. After Automatron's introduction of customizable robot servants, I wished Wasteland Workshop could have gone all in and allowed me to enlist my domesticated death claws as dog meat style companions in my wanderings in the wasteland, or at least give them names and tasks. Alas, they're limited mostly to serving as settlement security. For everything Fallout 4, including the upcoming Far Harbor DLC, stay with your friends here at IGN.